This video will help students calculate the working distance compensation they should use while performing retinoscopy. It will help our other viewers to understand the intricacy and details related to the procedure that your eye care practitioner uses to enhance your vision. Welcome back to another video. Dear viewers, we have been hard at work to be able to offer you eye care in every way possible and we will be making some announcements soon. Do stay tuned and subscribe if you have not already done so. As the name suggests, working distance is the distance at which we work with the retinoscope. We do not stand extremely close to the patient, neither do we stand far away. We are at an optimal distance, usually that of one hand from the patient. Ideally, retinoscopy has to be performed extremely close to the patient's eye in order to not have any unwanted power getting added to your final prescription. Since it is not practical to work at such close distances, we need to compensate for that distance by subtracting some power from our final prescription. So one way of doing that is to use a working distance lens, which is used to compensate for the distance between the examiner and the patient's eye. Usually the working distance is taken as one arm's length, that is appro approximately 66 centimeters, which translates to plus 1.5 diopter. But the arm length of every individual is different. Hence, there is a formula with the help of which you can calculate the working distance that you should use while performing retinoscopy. So how is this distance calculated? Let's have a look. As a first step, you need to measure the length of your arm. Please ask your friends or family to take a measuring tape and actually measure your arm from tip of the index finger up to your shoulder because this is the distance at which you normally perform retinoscopy. You can change the dis distance as per your comfort but ensure that you calculate the compensatory power required and insert a lens accordingly. Now, your measurement will most probably be in centimeters. So, convert the value into meters and once you have done this, then you simply have to insert the value in the following formula, which is 1 divided by the working distance in meters. If your working distance is 67 centimeters or 0.67 meters, then the working distance power that you require to subtract from your final prescription is 1 divided by 0.67 meters, which is equal to 1.492, which we can round off to 1.50 diopters. After you find the working distance power, you have two options. One is to begin performing retinoscopy after you have added a working distance lens into the trial frame. And the other option is to deduct the working distance power after you have finished neutralizing the reflex, that is, at the end of the retinoscope. The advantage of the first option is that you simply have to remove the working distance lens from the trial frame and the patient will be able to read clearly. It involves lesser mental calculation and hence reduces the probability of error. Remember, the working distance power is always deducted from the spherical component of the prescription. When a working distance lens is used to neutralize the reflex, the total lens system in front of the patient's eyes, including the working distance power, is considered as gross retinoscopic value. And if the working distance lens value is deducted from it, the remaining power is considered as the net retinoscopic value, which is taken as the final value of retinoscopy. Do let us know in the comment section below if you want to know more about gross and net retinoscopy. And also let us know the power you use to compensate for your working distance. Hope the video was helpful. Please do like, share and subscribe to our channel. See you in the next one.